Hi, welcome to video two of my leadership portfolio. Um, so, I am going to talk a bit about charismatic leadership to start with. Um, I was really challenged in class by what Sam was saying, footnote one, about charismatic leadership and and looking at the differences between charismatic leadership and non-charismatic leadership, and and I I thought I could definitely um, could definitely relate to um, how a charismatic leader draws you in, and and how they have just their ability to to completely change the atmosphere around them and 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 bring motivation and um, but I really found what she's what we talked about in class helpful in regards to the fact that I'm probably one of those personality types that I'm really drawn to that type of character. Um, and like I love watching motivational speakers and I love watching um, charismatic, I, I love being around charismatic people. Um, but I really took away from what we looked at in class and thought I, um, I'm going to be more aware of watching um, for what Sam has been talking about as well, footnote one, about watching for the results. And so because a you know, charismatic type leader can really talk the talk and present something in such a way that's like, wow, but actually can, can they actually bring about change in the results? That need to happen. Um, so I found I found that really really helpful, and really like I could reflect on that and actually take away from that and think I I want to I want to watch this area in my life. Um, and then when we looked at transformational leadership, I thought, wow, that's the type of leader I really want to be. Um, as someone who can bring about significant change into an organisation and, and, and the followers that come in behind them, footnote two. And I, yeah, I really could see when we're talking about the difference from, from transformational to transactional, how the transformational leader has that ability to, to bring everyone with them Whereas a transactional leader is just looking for that exchange and getting the job done. And I think um, what really stuck out to me in regards to tra that transformational leadership is, is that that person has, the transformational leader has an ability to be able to get the job done, but also to be able to connect with the people in such a way that, that brings about a change that the transactional leader just could not do. Um, because they don't have that, they don't have the whole package. And when you're looking at, um, I've been reading through the trait theory, footnote two, in the textbook, and reading about just the, some of the different traits. I've got them written down over here that that they that they have seen, and this would come into behavioural theory as well. Moving on, um, footnote two. And some of these are the, some of the traits that they've seen in leaders consistently. Um, and so one of the ones that, that these are a few of the ones that I've, um, that I've written down, but optimism. And I straight away was like, wow, well, yeah, you can see, I think you can see that optimism is a massive, would be a massive trait. Um, and even just thinking about, you know, great leaders who have done amazing things. They've always had so many challenges and they've got to be able to have that ability to be able to get back up and keep going, even in the face of, of setbacks, even in the face of um, just problems and people pointing and giving an opinion and, you know, and, and whenever anyone stands up and does something, like that tall poppy syndrome that we see, in New Zealand, you know, there's always going to be people who are going to try and stop you. And um, and so that optimistic attitude is such a powerful thing because it can, yeah, 
because you can get back up and keep going and I thought oh yeah I really want to make sure that that's part of who I am um, and also there was a quote um, in the textbook footnote three which I will just read out um, and it's by sorry just here says what I've really learned over time is that optimism is a very very important part of leadership people don't like to follow pessimists and that's by Robert Eger chairman and CEO of the Walt Disney Company and I think I really think that that's very very true I know myself personally find being around people that are really negative really challenging um, because I, I like to always try and look at things in faith and yeah, um, so I could I really could relate to to that. Um, and then the next attribute that they talk about is self confidence. And I think um, reading through that, I could really you could really see that it's such an important part. Because if you're following along behind somebody, you want to know that they're confident in what they're doing. <laughs> um, because you very rarely want to follow someone who's not confident. 